and the time limit, I just got a glimpse of the Ninjorx timer. Minute 15, so you really can't go much slower than a minute. Um, a tough time limit to work with, but it just is showing you how much we're challenging these Mature Kids athletes. And Ember looking phenomenal through obstacle number three, linking some movements there. And she is go, go, go. I think this could be a close to 45 second run. Absolutely. Kind of come down to how quick she builds up. She just hit the 30 second mark now, has to get that flywheel. Oh man, she is speeding onto that warp wall right now. Gonna pop on up, that's gonna be a 12 foot warp wall and a buzzer, 39.27. Oh wow. Definitely, <laughs> I, I was, hey, it's sub 45. I wasn't wrong, but sub 40, <laughs> incredible. As you mentioned, we saw some flawless links. We also saw a quick pop off the flywheel straight to that landing platform. That was that was flawless. Great run out of Vivian. And now the pressure is on as Ember Strickland is sailing through the early obstacles. Let's break down the stakes here, Mary. Currently, Kinsey Carvin is in fourth place, which means fifth place, Ayla Bertrand, is on the bubble. This does mean that all Ember has to do is clear in order to qualify for the finals. It does not matter how quickly she does it. She does not have to be faster than Kinsey. She just has to clear since Ayla missed that grab on the warped wall earlier. I do like Ember's chances here today. She is, we saw great movement out of her in the first placement run. She can generate a lot of power. She has some great links going for that top-handed grab right there to really just get off of the obstacle. Her height will definitely be an advantage Oh, look at that, and there it was, able to tack off of the wall up to the rope, not wasting any time with that climb up. We might be looking at our fastest run right here, two minutes left. Yes, definitely the fastest we've seen to the spinal tap, and with our final few obstacles being a little quicker, you could absolutely see a new fastest time. The time to beat for the first spot is Addison Stockholm's 2 minutes 28 seconds. And Ember is definitely on track to beat that right now. Yeah, Ember didn't look as comfortable on the spinal tap as some of her other athletes, but not a problem for her. Goes for that skip. That skip almost looked more natural for her than it would have to go to the cone. Hops right off on Deja Vu. Has the wingspan to reach, and she's just going to match and pop one high hook. One pull and going. Hitting the dismount. She's got a minute and 10 seconds left. Say, this could be a sub two minute run. And it's going to be one minute, 57 seconds. Ember Strickland advances to the finals with a first place Ember. finish on the challenge course. What a dominant performance out of Ember. And the fact that she bested Vivian this this makes me very excited for the mature females uh, mature kids females matchup when we get to ferox